It's cocktail time, and I'm gonna show you how to make one of the oldest and most classic American cocktails, the Old Fashioned. It's simple, just a few steps. Let's do it. Now, cocktails like Old Fashions and Manhattans have enjoyed a wonderful renaissance in recent years, thanks in large part to the increased popularity in American whiskey, in both bourbon and rye. In the 90s, uh, they were spirits that were on life support, practically extinct. They've made a huge comeback, and because of that, so have those old time cocktails, which go all the way back to the 19th century. Historically, this was a cocktail that was made with rye whiskey. Today, we're gonna use bourbon. I like bourbon a little bit better. You can use bourbon or rye, you choose. There are just a few ingredients, and it's very, very simple. Start with some good bourbon or rye. Now, if you are gonna do bourbon, I like to use a spicier one. We'll do Wild Turkey 101. Maybe you uh, like Bullet, those high rye mash bill uh, bourbons like Bullet, or maybe Vario Barton. Those go very well in this cocktail because it plays nicely off of the sweetness. You need aromatic bitters. Cannot make it without aromatic bitters. You're also going to need orange, whoop, orange bitters. And then you're going to need some simple syrup. Make it yourself. Don't buy this stuff out of the bottle. You can buy it at the store, but it's full of artificial crap. It's weak. There's like corn syrup and stuff like that. Just make your own simple syrup. If you're wondering why this is brown, it's because I do not use refined sugar. I use terminado sugar or demerara sugar. I would suggest doing that. Simple syrup is just simply equal parts sugar and water, or at least that's the most common way to make it. I happen to do a one and a half to one ratio. So one and a half cups of sugar to one cup of water, just simmer some water on the stove and then completely dissolve your sugar in it and you can store it in the fridge for a couple of weeks. A little bit goes a long way as you'll see when we make the cocktail and you can experiment with the ratio yourself to see what you like. Like I said, I do one and a half to one. Uh, my buddy, Zach Piper, who's an excellent mixologist, more of an expert than I for sure. He actually does a two to one ratio with Demerara sugar and it makes for a real syrupy, viscous, a deliciously sweet, simple syrup. So play around with it and see what you like. The only other things you're going to need, lemon and orange and the peel for a little garnish. One final thing we're gonna do with our presentation today is make a smoked old fashioned. And you can sort of throw this into the mix if you have friends over and you wanna just do something fun and play around a little bit. You will need a brulee torch for this. You should have one of these anyway if you do a lot of cooking uh, to brulee desserts, creme brulee or to gratin stuff, get a brulee torch. You can pick them up for about 50 bucks. Again, this is something that is not necessary, just makes for kind of a cool presentation. And it does add a nice sort of complex smoky aroma to the cocktail. I wouldn't do this with Manhattans. I just like to do it with old fashions. Get a little smoking block like this that you could buy online. Take your torch and what we're, do is we're, what we're gonna do is get it nice and hot and smoky. And then I'm gonna take the glass, my rocks glass that I'm gonna serve my cocktail in and just put it right over the top. And as I mix the cocktail, it'll just fill the glass with that smoky aroma. So let's do it. Make sure your rattan torch works. And really get this thing going. There it is. Right on top. Smoked old fashioned. So we'll set that aside and we will let it do its thing, then we're gonna make our cocktail. Get a mixing glass, and you're gonna notice that twos are wild here. I'm going to take two ounces of my bourbon. Again, you can use rye if you like. It's maybe just a little bit more than two ounces. Your aromatic bitters, two dashes. Same with your orange bitters. And I'm gonna take my simple syrup, my bar spoon. A little of this goes a long way. And this is all spirit, as you can see. So you need a little bit something to cut through that and to sweeten it up. And that's why we're gonna use simple syrup. Don't do the whole sugar cube muddle thing. Uh, no good, that's not how the drink was originally made and certainly not, not how it's intended. Make simple syrup. And just two bar spoons full. One. Now I'm going to add ice, a lot of it, and I'm going to stir. And you want to get this nice and cold, 
So my cocktail's ready. I like to use these big ice balls. You can buy these molds. You can also just take a muffin tin and freeze a bunch if you like. But I like these. And we want these ice balls because we want the ice to melt slowly. We're going to sip this and enjoy it. You don't want to put a lot of ice in there and have it start to dilute the drink as it melts. This is going to melt very slowly. Now, in, strainer, there's some debate about maraschino cherry and if that should be used to garnish an old fashioned. Technically, no, people are going to fight me on that, but if you really look at the history, uh, that's something that was added much later. It should just be an orange peel. I'm going to actually do orange and lemon. If you like a maraschino cherry in it, more power to you. They are delicious, but I would recommend spending the money on the really good ones. Don't buy the ones that you used to have in your kitty cocktails when you were a kid. Buy the real Luxardo maraschino cherries. It makes a huge difference. They are fantastic. So I'm just going to take some orange peel. Take the pith and hold it towards you. And then just squeeze so that some of the... The oils and the zest, not the zest, but the oils basically go around the glass. I'm going to do the same with my lemon. Get towards you and then just squeeze. That's it. Could it be any easier? Simple, few ingredients. Mmm, smoky. Fantastic. Cheers to the old fashioned.